Marcus Mosiah Garvey was born August 17, 1887, in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. He was the last of 11 children born to Marcus Garvey Sr. and Sarah Jane Richards. His father was a stonemason and his mother was a domestic worker and farmer. Garvey's father was known to have a large library where the young Garvey learned to read. At age 14, he became a printer's apprentice and in 1903, he traveled to Kingston, Jamaica and soon became involved in union activities. He also took part in a printer strike in 1907 and realized his passion. Three years later, Garvey traveled throughout Central America working as a newspaper editor and wrote about the exploitation of migrant workers in the plantations. He later attended Burbeck College, known now as the University of London, and worked for the African Times and Orient Review, which advocated Pan-African nationalism. By 1912, Garvey returned to Jamaica and founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association with the goal of uniting all African diaspora to establish a country and absolute government of their own. He created the red, black, and green flag to symbolize black unity. Red is for the color of the blood which men must shed for their redemption and liberty. Black is the color of the noble and distinguished race to which we belong. And green is for the luxuriant vegetation of our motherland. Garvey traveled to the United States in 1916. He settled in New York City and formed a UNIA chapter in Harlem. There he promoted a separatist philosophy of social, political, and economic freedom for blacks. He held large branch meetings where entire families gathered for a day of debates, fashion shows, classical music plays, and theatrical acts. With the UNIA, Garvey gave his followers, who were dispossessed amongst the majority, a sense of belonging. For the young people, there was the UNIA Juvenile Division, where children studied the Bible, the doctrine of the UNIA, and the history of Africa. Girls were taught sewing, boys woodcraft, and both received further instruction in black history and etiquette. At the age of 13, boys received military training to prepare them for the membership in the African Legion, while girls learned hygiene and domestic science in order to prepare them to be Black Cross nurses. There was also the Motor Corps, where members were trained in military discipline and automobile driving and repair. In 1918, Garvey began publishing the widely distributed newspaper, Negro World, to convey his message. It had a worldwide circulation of over 100,000 people, and in 1919, Garvey and the UNIA launched the Black Star Line, a shipping company to establish trade and commerce between Africans in America, the Caribbean, South and Central America, Canada, and Africa. Also that year, he established the Negro Factories Corporation and offered stock for African Americans to buy. He wanted to produce everything that a nation needed so that African Americans could completely rely on their own efforts. At one point, the corporation operated three grocery stores, two restaurants, a printing plant, a steam laundry, and owned several buildings and trucks in the New York City area alone. In August 1920, the UNIA held its first international convention at Madison Square Garden. Before a crowd of 25,000 people from all over the world, Garvey spoke of having pride in African history and culture. Marcus Garvey and his organization, the UNIA, represented the largest mass movement in African American history. Proclaiming a black nationalist back to Africa message, Garvey and the UNIA had over a million members and had established 700 branches in 38 cities by the early 1920s. Marcus Garvey was an entrepreneur, publisher, educator, and civil rights activist, and the founder of the Pan-African movement, and by far is still one of the most influential individuals of the African diaspora.